Hey guys, welcome to another Workshop Wednesday. I'm Claudia and today we are going to be making treasure maps. For supplies, you will need a brown paper bag, yarn and needle. If you don't have that, don't worry, you can use a glue stick, colored pencils, paper to draw on, a pencil, an eraser, and a pair of scissors. Using your scissors and brown paper bag, you're gonna open it up and cut out the top and the back panels. So just like I'm going here, guiding myself along the fold, I'm gonna cut out the top and the back panel. Now that I've had my two pieces cut out, should have something like this. I'm gonna stack them on top of each other and make sure that they're pretty even. I don't want one side bigger than the other. We're using our needle, something like this. I'm just using this plastic one. It's very bendable. It's gonna work great for the paper. You can use whatever you have. If you don't have it, remember you can use a glue stick and basically take your glue stick and glue it around the edges of the bag. Don't glue the top because you want an opening um, for your map to go into. Okay, so leave the top unglued. If you do have a needle, go ahead and get some yarn or thread or whatever you have on hand and cut off a couple of feet I'm using several feet of this orange yarn. Now thread that through your eye of the needle. I like to just twist the tip of the yarn to help it go through a little easier. Okay, and then grab the two ends of your string and put them together and then find the middle of your string. So that way the eye sitting in the middle like that. Okay, and now go ahead and tie off the ends. I'm going to do a double knot just to be extra secure. So one knot here. And then one more. Awesome. So before I thread, I'm going to mark which side is the top of my bag and which side is the bottom of my bag. So I'm just gonna write the bottom and the top, that way I don't accidentally sew over all of it. You definitely want to have um, two, two of the long sides and then one of the shorter sides sewn through and just keep that opening so you can slip your map in and out. So I'm gonna go ahead and go under and poke it with my needle and pull my yarn through all the way to the knot. You can go over if it is easier for you. I just happened to go under. What I did here was um, pre-poke holes with my needles now that I have it uh, started. So I'm just going through and poking several holes. This is gonna make threading it a lot faster. And so I'm gonna thread slowly um, at the beginning just to make sure that I'm not pulling too tight if um, you have trouble keeping your yarn from um, pulling um, just try to do it very slowly because once you have kind of the idea of how much you should be pulling on your yarn you'll start to, to work faster So again, just making sure you're not pulling your yarn too tight because um, if you do, it's gonna look something like this. <laughs> it's gonna bend your bag and you don't want that. If you do do that, um, you can just take your needle and push it under the thread that you, the loop that you just did and um, help loosen that up again and it'll straighten it out. All right, so I went ahead and just pre-poked my holes, but I realized that the bags were slipping and my holes weren't lining up. So I took a little bit of tape there and just attached it to the corner. And now I'm just working my way through. Once I get to the corner, I'm just gonna continue. Um, and again, you don't want to put your holes too close to the edge. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that before, but you definitely wanna poke them like an inch into the bag. If you put them too close to the edge, they're just gonna rip off very easily. And I just took my eraser there and erased um, the bottom and the top that I had written. So now I'm just working my way through. 
I really like threading. Um, it's very calming. I put some music on and just hung out. It's really fun. Okay, so now that I'm here at the end, remember we're not gonna do the top, we wanna leave it open. I am going to take my needle and I'm going to actually thread it back through the last stitch that I did and then I'm going to knot it. Um, if it doesn't make sense to you, you can knot it however you want. Uh, this one just makes sense to me as a way to secure it. If you're worried about your knot not being secured enough, you can just tape it shut. And just take your scissors and then trim off the excess yarn. And boom, now you have a nice little bag for your mat. Okay, so for the next step, we're actually gonna draw the map. You're gonna need some colored pencils, a paper and a, a pencil, and an eraser. So I'm just thinking about what, what direction I want my map to go. The first thing I'm gonna do is mark my X and think about my starting point, and then start making some lines to connect to my X. I'm going in and I'm erasing things that just didn't make sense. Um, I wanna use up the whole space of the paper. I don't wanna just put it in the middle really small. Um, if you have that big piece of paper, go ahead and fill it up with lots of color. I wanted to add some water, so I'm just outlining with my blue colored pencil there where's the water and where the land is. And I just went in and started sketching some things. With your black marker, um, you can totally do this with a black colored pencil, but I had a black marker. Um, you're going to mark your X and then just start dotting through. Um, I actually did these little dashes and it just made it feel like um, a little bit more pirate style map. You can do a big long line, little feet if you want. You can get creative on this. So just taking my eraser and erasing those pencil lines, I don't want them to show through my colored pencil. Um, here I am just starting to outline my mountains. I like to outline things first with my colored pencil and then color them in. So here's my progress so far. I did a little compass in the corner. I've done some of the edges um, and then my Mighty Bee Mountains and Scorpion Desert. I wanted to show you the colored pencils that I'm using. Here's a Prismacolor Premier colored pencil. I have a lot of these from college. I also have some Fiber Castell pencils. These thin ones are my favorite. They're Prismacolor Very Thin. They're really great too for the little details. And then my, I think, I can't remember where I got these from. Maybe it was from my mom, um, but I had these really cool mechanical colored pencils from Zebra. Yeah, these are really neat. No need for sharpening. <laughs> So I just enjoyed my time coloring in my map. I went, didn't want any white space. I wanted it all to be full of color. I encourage you guys to get really creative about your landscapes. Um, here I have my mountains, my desert, then my rose garden, which kind of looks like a slice of pizza with some pepperoni on top. Um, have a little bit of water. Um, just be really creative about the map that you're making. It doesn't have to make sense. I put my mac and cheese swamp in the corner. So here I put a star and um, can't go through those mountains and through the desert. So we got to go around. So we're going around through the rose um, garden. Can't go through spider alley, which I just threw in there. All the way to X, which marks the spot. Okay, now here's my favorite part. Take your paper and crumble it up in your hands. That's right, you're gonna crumble it up nice and tight. And now you're going to gently, and I mean gently, unfold it. If it tears, that's okay. Um, but this is totally gonna change the look of your map and make it feel a little bit more old and vintage. I wanted to decorate my map bag or map holder. Um, so I took a colored pencil and wrote like a silly phrase on it, something like, 
do not dare to use this map or something. And then I drew a skull and crossbones. Here's what I did. It's a little silly, but I like it. Okay, I actually had some coffee left over from the morning, so I'm gonna take the ends of my map and dip it into the coffee. You can do this with tea, um, and it's gonna brown the edges and stain them. It's gonna look really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean up my space now that I'm done with my map making. And here's the end product. I took a little bit of extra yarn that I had and wrapped it around the map so it would stay shut and unrolling it. And there we go. I'm ready for my pirate adventure. I'd love to see what you guys created. So please share your art with us and tag us. Learn more and support us online um, at theimassonline.org. Thanks so much for joining me for another Workshop Wednesday.